Hello everyone and welcome to another class of 5G. Today in our class we are going to discuss about 5G PV and NGMN. So 5G PV is 5th generation private public partnership. Let's discuss about 5G PV first. So 5G PV is a joint initiative between European Commission. So this is a joint initiative between European Commission and European ICT industry, which is ICT manufacturer, telecom operator, service provider, SMEs and research institutions. 5G PP is now in a second phase. Uh, here it launched 21 new projects. in Brussels up to June 2017. So it demands that we are having thousand times higher wireless area capacity and more service compatibility compared to 2010. So saving up to 90% of the energy, this is what it demands per hour basis. It reduced the average creation time, service creation time cycles from 90, years, 90 hours to 90 minutes. This is average service creation time from 90 hours to 90 minutes. It requires dense deployments and wider panel of the services. This is what 5G PP demands. Now we are having another term as NGMN. NGMN stands for Next Generation Mobile Networks. Next generation mobile networks. This requires NGMN basically proposed E2E architecture framework. E2E stands for end to end architecture framework for 5G. Now, NGMN Alliance is an industry organization of leading worldwide telecom operators, vendors, research institutes, and was founded by international network operators in 2006. Now, what is its objective? To ensure the functionality and performance of next generation wireless infrastructures, service platform, and devices, it will meet the requirement of the operators and satisfy the end user demand and what are its expectation. That's what it required that there should be for 5G, there should be high level end to end architecture. Now, NGMN inventions an architecture that Structural separation of hardware and software. What it demands? It demands that there should be structural separation between the hardware and software as well as programmability offered by software defined networking and network functions virtualization. That means there should be structural separation of hardware, software, and programming of NFV and SDN. So, this 5G architecture is a native SDN NFV architecture which covering expects ranges from various devices. If you talk about devices, we are having mobile and the fixed devices infrastructure. We are having various need for functions and capability management functions for orchestration purposes. So what it demands that there should be proper APIs, proper APIs which are provided for relevant functions to support multiple use cases. Like we have to value create, we have to create business model. For that, there should be proper orchestration functions and APIs are provided to it. So end-to-end -end architecture, which is proposed by NGMN, basically focus on that there should be separation of hardware and software, as well as other virtual -like function like NAV and SD. Architecture is completely on NAV SDN functionalities, and there should be or there is provided with separate APIs so that we can 
uh, use course cases, we can create uh, values, we can create business model, etc. Next concept we are having here as network slicing. Now, what is this network slicing? Now, the scope of network slice covers the device right through the SGI interface. So, we have discussed in our architecture that there is an interface as SGI interface in 4G network in architecture. So, scope of network slice covers the right device right through this SGI interface. 5G network shall be capable of slicing. That means we can slice the network and it consists of enhanced mobile broadband, like enhanced mobile broadband, massive IoT. It should support massive Internet of Things and also ultra reliable low latency communication. ultra reliable low latency communication we call it as url lc this is what 5g architecture shall support so this is about 5g pp and ngmn which has proposed the architecture we will continue with the 5g architecture in our next classes thank you so much